Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the more debt I use, the less taxes I paid. Are you tired of paying high taxes and feeling like you can never get ahead financially? What if we told you that using debt strategically could actually help you minimize your tax burden and achieve financial freedom? In this video, we'll share how you can use debt to your advantage, minimize your tax liability, and earn passive income. We'll walk you through the steps you need to take to start using debt strategically and show you how it can help you achieve your financial goals. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how using debt can actually help you pay less in taxes and work towards the life of financial freedom that you've been dreaming of. So, make sure to watch until the end and start taking control of your finances today. Welcome to my channel. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who may also benefit from our content. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting us know your thoughts. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. Thanks for watching and let's get started. At number 1. Understand Tax Deductions the more debt I use, the less taxes I pay is a statement that many people mistakenly believe. The truth is that while taking out loans can reduce your taxable income in some cases, it's not always the case, and it's not a good strategy to rely solely on debt to minimize taxes. Instead, a better strategy is to understand tax deductions and how they can help reduce your taxable income. Tax deductions are expenses that you can subtract from your income to lower your taxable income. Some common tax deductions include charitable donations, mortgage interests, and certain medical expenses. By understanding which deductions you qualify for, you can reduce the amount of money you owe in taxes. Maximizing your deductions is a smart and legal way to reduce your tax bill, but it's important to consult with a tax professional to make sure you're not making any mistakes. Overall, while reducing your taxable income is a smart financial strategy, it's important to understand the right way to do it to avoid costly mistakes. Number two, utilize mortgage interest deduction. If you're looking for a way to potentially reduce your tax burden, utilizing the mortgage interest deduction might be a viable option. Simply put, this deduction allows homeowners to use the interest paid on their mortgage as a tax deduction, thereby reducing their taxable income. By taking advantage of this deduction, you may be able to lower your overall tax bill and save money in the long run. However, it's important to note that this deduction is only available to those who itemize their deductions on their tax return. Additionally, the amount you can deduct depends on a variety of factors like the size of your mortgage and the interest rate you pay. While using debt to lower your taxes might seem like a savvy financial move, it's important to stay within your means and not take on more debt than you can handle. Overall, the mortgage interest deduction is one way to reduce your taxable income, but be sure to speak with a financial advisor or tax professional to determine if this option is right for you. Number 3. Invest in retirement accounts. While it may seem counterintuitive, investing in retirement accounts can actually help reduce your taxable income and save you money on taxes. By contributing to your 401k or IRA, you are not only saving money for your future but also lowering your current taxable income. This is because the contributions you make to your retirement account are taken out of your pre-tax income, which lowers your taxable income dollar for dollar. For instance, if you earn zero per year and contribute zero to your 400 wonk, then your taxable income would be reduced to zero. This means you'll owe less in taxes and may even drop down to a low tax bracket. By reducing your taxable income, you can keep more of your hard-earned money and invest it in your future. So, instead of relying on debt to reduce your taxes, consider investing in your retirement accounts to save on taxes while securing your financial future. Remember, every dollar you contribute to a qualified retirement account today may serve you longer than you anticipated. Number 4. Take advantage of tax credits. Tax credits are one of the best ways to reduce your tax bill, and it's a smart way to take advantage of tax incentives. Two popular tax credits that can help lower your tax bill are the Earned Income Tax Credit and the Child Tax Credit. The Earned Income Tax Credit is designed to help low- and middle-income taxpayers, while the child tax credit is intended to reduce the tax burden of parents with dependent children. By utilizing these tax credits, you can significantly reduce your tax bill, increasing your cash flow and lowering your overall debt. It's important to do your research and understand what tax credits you are eligible for to maximize your tax savings. While it's tempting to use debt to reduce your taxable income, relying too heavily on debt can lead to a debt spiral that can be difficult to overcome. 
Ultimately, the key to minimising your tax bill and reducing debt is to take advantage of all available tax credits while maintaining a responsible approach to borrowing. By doing so, you can ensure that you are making the most of your financial situation and achieving long-term financial stability. Number 5. Consider financing your mortgage. Refinancing your mortgage can be a great way to lower your monthly payment, which can free up money to be used for other expenses or investments. This can be especially advantageous for those looking to use debt to reduce their tax burden. By keeping a mortgage balance and making monthly payments, homeowners are able to deduct the interest paid on their taxes, which, in turn, can reduce their overall tax liability. Refinancing your mortgage can actually help increase this deduction, allowing homeowners to receive even greater tax savings. While utilising debt in this way can be a smart financial move for some, it's important to remember to be responsible with your finances and not take on more debt than you can afford. If you are considering refinancing your mortgage, it's important to do your research and consult with a trusted financial advisor to ensure it's the right move for you. With careful planning and consideration, refinancing your mortgage can help you lower your monthly payments and increase your tax savings, providing greater financial flexibility and security. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Your support helps us to create even more valuable content for you. So don't miss out and subscribe now. Thank you for your continued support. Number 6. Use a home equity loan. If you're carrying high interest debt, a home equity loan may be a viable option to reduce your tax bill. A home equity loan is a secured loan using the equity in your property as collateral, and the funds can be used to pay off high interest debts such as credit card balances, medical bills or personal loans. By consolidating your debts with a home equity loan, you can lower your interest rate, reduce your monthly payments, and potentially save a significant amount of money on interest charges over time. Additionally, the interest paid on a home equity loan may be tax deductible, which can further reduce your tax bill. However, it's important to carefully consider the risks involved with taking out a home equity loan as you could lose your home if you default on the loan. Make sure to shop around for the best home equity loan rates and terms and consider working with a financial advisor to determine if a home equity loan is the right choice for your specific financial circumstances. Number 7. Deduct business expenses. As a business owner, deducting eligible expenses is crucial in reducing your taxable income and maximizing your tax savings. With careful planning, you can turn debt into a tax strategy that benefits your business's bottom line. Deductible expenses include items such as office supplies, travel costs, rent, and employee salaries. These expenses can be used to offset your business's taxable income, resulting in lower taxes. However, it's important to keep accurate records and save receipts to support your deductions in case of an audit. Additionally, using debt to finance your business can also provide tax benefits. For example, the interest paid on business loans is fully deductible, reducing your taxable income even further. However, it's essential to use debt responsibly and not rely on it as a primary tax strategy. Overall, deducting eligible expenses and using debt wisely can help you reduce your tax bill and keep more of your hard-earned profits. Number 8. Donate to charity. Donating to charity is a great way to support a good cause while also providing a tax deduction. In the context of the more debt I use, the less taxes I paid, charitable donations can help to offset any tax liabilities resulting from using debt to finance investments. When you donate to a qualified charity, you can receive a tax deduction for the amount of your donation, which can lower your taxable income and reduce your tax bill. Additionally, donating to charity is an opportunity to make a positive impact on society and help those in need. Charitable donations can support a wide range of causes, from education and healthcare to disaster relief and animal welfare. When deciding which charity to donate to, it's important to do your research and choose a reputable organisation that aligns with your values. By making a donation to charity, you can give back to your community and improve your tax situation at the same time. Overall, donating to charity is a smart financial and ethical decision that can benefit both you and society as a whole. Number 9. Maximize Health Savings Account HSA Contributions Maximizing contributions to a health savings account HSA can be a beneficial tool to reduce taxes, even when using debt. HSA allow you to make tax-deductible contributions, regardless of your income level. By maximizing HSA contributions, you can reduce your taxable income and ultimately your tax bill. The money in an HSA can be used to pay for qualified medical expenses, and qualified medical expenses can be paid using HSA funds tax-free. 
With this in mind, you can use debt strategically to fund your HSA contributions, allowing you to lower your taxable income and reduce your tax bill even further. It is essential to keep in mind that HSA funds must be used for qualified medical expenses to remain tax-free. In short, using HSA contributions to offset taxable income is a valuable tool in reducing your tax bill, even if you use debt to fund those contributions. As always, it is essential to consult with a financial advisor to ensure you are making informed decisions regarding your finances. Number 10. Hire a tax professional. When it comes to taxes, navigating through the tax code can feel like a daunting task. When you have debt, it's easy to overlook the deductions and credits available to you. That's why it's important to hire a tax professional to help you sort out your finances and maximise your tax savings. A tax professional can guide you through the tax code and ensure you understand your options to minimise your tax liability. Hiring a tax professional can also be an investment in your future. They can help you plan for the long term by creating a strategy that can reduce your tax burden for years to come. Additionally, they can keep you up to date with changes in the tax code, so you can adjust your financial plan accordingly. While it may seem costly to hire a tax professional, the financial benefits far outweigh the costs of not doing so. In conclusion, hiring a tax professional can help you navigate the tax code and ensure you are taking advantage of all eligible deductions and credits and can ultimately save you money in the long run. In conclusion, it is important to understand that using debt to reduce your tax liability can be a risky strategy as it can leave you vulnerable to financial instability if you are not careful. While there may be some tax advantages to using debt, it is important to also consider the long-term costs of servicing that debt, such as interest and fees. Ultimately, the best way to reduce your tax liability is to take advantage of tax saving strategies that do not involve taking on more debt, such as contributing to tax-advantaged retirement accounts or making charitable donations. By working with a qualified financial advisor and accountant, you can develop a comprehensive tax strategy that balances your short-term tax savings with your long-term financial goals and needs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to leave a comment below letting us know your thoughts and what you'd like to see in future videos. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.